The Halo franchise is so widely accepted by fans mostly because it's a game series that has so much depth in it. And with the great level of depth and detail the game developers have put into making the Halo universe, they've also hid a ton of easter eggs along the way that really makes replaying through the game and discovering these things on your own a fun experience. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the more unusual and fun easter eggs hidden throughout the Halo franchise. So let's go ahead and jump jump into it. Now before we begin, these easter eggs that we've picked out are more of the lesser known easter eggs. Sure, there's a ton of really popular ones like the red versus blue easter eggs, and we have a whole video dedicated to that coming up in the future, but for this video we're going to be focusing more in on some of the hidden ones that are just kind of clever. So be sure to subscribe if you want more content just like this, because we're going to be continuing to dive into some of the best known secrets about Halo. First up, we have the Man on the Moon achievement from Halo 3, which is when you load onto the multiplayer standoff, if you grab a sniper rifle and look up to the side of the moon, fully zoomed in, you can see the face of Chris Carney, one of the Bungie developers on Halo 3, kind of mixed in with the moon. And if you shoot at it in the Master Chief Collection, you get an achievement. Also in Halo 3, if you play on the map Valhalla on certain days of the year, there's different messages and signs that you can find, also leading you to getting an achievement in the Master Chief Collection. On May 5th, you'll see a Cinco de Mayo based one that says today was live. On July 4th, you'll see a sign that says barbecue at Bob's place, which is a reference to the game Marathon. And on July 7th, you'll see the seventh column symbol, which is Bungie Day. October 31st, you'll see a gravestone that has the initials RIP. November 11th, you'll see a sign that says Kilroy was here in honor of Veterans Day. And on December 24th, fifth, you'll see a Christmas light with an X on it. It's pretty cool that they have all of these different things hidden in this one map and waiting for a specific day just to get an achievement is kind of a cool feature. On Halo 2, if you play on the map Blood Gulch, you can actually find two different messages hidden away. If you go to the cave by the water, you can find written on the rock wall, Sid was here. And if you go to the rocks, you can see a face and both of these will actually land you different achievements in the Master Chief Collection. In the Halo 3 campaign, there's different cavemen hidden about the first level of the story. While two of them exist in areas that are a little bit further away, one of them is close up where you can see an entire family of cave people just sitting there by the jackals, chilling. You can actually get three individual achievements for finding all of them in the Master Chief Collection. If you're playing on the Halo 3 map high ground and you walk up to one of the computers set up, you'll begin to hear Morse code messages that will lead up into a music cue playing various songs from the Halo universe. This will actually land you the Sounds Familiar achievement, but it's a cool little easter egg hidden away, but sometimes you have to sit there for a really long time before the achievement will pop up. On Halo 2's map Headlong, if you go to the main tower and climb up towards the top of it, you can see little hippos drawn on the wall and it'll actually pop up another achievement for you. But the hippo love doesn't stop in Halo 3 Forge on the level Foundry, or if you're in multiplayer, if you go over a specific garbage pile, you can see a little hippo toy that is mixed in with the trash, also netting you the hippo hero achievement. I don't know why there's an obsession of hippos at Bungie. In the level outskirts on Halo 2, you can find a hidden sword that says Rex next to it, which is kind of cool. You can also find a hidden sniper over by where you would get the I would have been your daddy skull, which only spawns one out of seven times, but at least the sniper rifle's there. If you play the next level, Metropolis, you can actually find a hidden soccer ball by doing a well-timed grenade jump with the Sputnik skull on, or if in the beginning part of the level, you can somehow coerce a banshee to follow you all the way down the tunnel and then hijack it just as it loads in the next part of the level, you can 
fly it up to a higher section of the map and grab a scarab gun and you can just shoot the scarab gun it's kind of cool they both net you achievements so there's that at least there's of course alternate ways to get both of these but it's really cool that back in the day on halo 2 when this initially released they kind of gave you something extra to do just to mess around before there were things like achievements or just a scarab skull where you could shoot all of your guns as scarab guns also in halo 3 in the campaign on the first level featuring the flood you can find some missing person signs that have developers of bungie employees in it it's just kind of a little clever nod in all of the main bungie halo games there's a secret song from the game myth called siege of madrigal in halo reach there's actually a hidden dance club of brutes djing and playing different halo music which is really funny and on the same level you can actually fly your falcon into specific spots that'll let you pilot a pelican and a phantom which was a first for the halo franchise in halo 2 on a cutscene for grave mind you can actually see jason jones one of the developers at bungie kind of in not a whole lot of clothing dancing but they added this same picture into halo 3 on the final level hidden in a deep corner at the beginning you have to usually use a friend to gravity hammer jump over to it but it gets you an achievement and it's just funny to look at starting all the way back in halo combat evolved bungie has a reputation of hiding grunts that leave very different messages and different monologues for players to listen to this has been a recurring thing in halo 1 2 and 3 and maybe even later halos after that and it's always really entertaining to listen to here's one that's only available in the original release of the game but in halo 3 odst there are several posters hidden around with a picture of earth that says destiny awaits now back when odst released no one knew that bungie's future game years later after the release of reach and several years after they left microsoft would be titled destiny however when 343 added halo 3 odst into the master chief collection this poster was changed just to say for her and it removed all references to the game destiny still it's pretty clever marketing from bungie's perspective back in the day in halo reach on the second to last level you can actually go to halsey's room and explore the office there's a ton of references to previous halo games there and it's just a really cool respect to the legacy that halo had built at the time of reach's release mind you this was bungie's final game and it served as a good farewell to the franchise in halo 4 if you use a hologram after killing an enemy and your hologram walks over a dead body it'll begin teabagging the dead body for you so you don't have to put in all that extra work and your clone version of yourself can humiliate the enemy player for you then we have the hello my name keys easter egg which you can find in halo combat evolved where if you look at keys's uniform you'll see that it says hello my name keys apparently there wasn't enough room to put the word is or spaces and it's just kind of funny and they just went with it anyways and it's just one of the great little things you can look at whenever you're playing on the older graphics of halo combat evolved unfortunately they did change this in halo anniversary but it's still kind of funny that they just went with it in halo reach this is one that not a lot of people talk about too much but we have the grd helmet this was the helmet that could have been but never was it was supposed to be a dlc helmet to be included in the Defiant map pack released with Halo Reach and was even seen in certain promotional materials and while the whole internet was speculating when this DLC helmet would be released it wouldn't be until Halo Anniversary where once again the helmet would not be released. When the Halo Anniversary maps were added into Halo Reach though they did hide several different dolls on each level of the Halo Anniversary DLC which of course all have this mysterious GRD helmet that we almost got to have in Reach but never actually had. Who knows, maybe 343 will finally put it in when Halo Reach comes to the Master Chief Collection. This next one is one of my personal favorites but in Halo Combat Evolved, not in the Anniversary Edition, on the first level if you go up to the billboard you can see a ton of different little easter eggs referencing past locations of Bungie's offices and more but one of the 
flyers on the bulletin board is for a lost orange cat named Jonesy. Now this is a reference to the movie Alien and is just the cat that kind of is around and somehow survives all of the alien attacks and it's just really clever that they put a poster up for this missing cat in a game that takes place on a spaceship with aliens attacking. And did you guys know that on almost every level of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 5 Guardians, there are hidden skulls in various locations throughout the entire game. This is in almost every single level too. If you guys didn't know that, we actually did a whole video dedicated to this topic not too long ago and you guys can go and check it out. It's pretty great. We just focused in on the most difficult skulls to find and the ones that were really just hidden with some complexities. So definitely go check that out. If you like the types of videos we do here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any future uploads. You can follow us on Twitter at Rocket Elijah or at Rocket Sloth Luke, and we'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.